channel. My name is Maserati. We are going to be doing the devotional today for God, God's promises for you. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And if you're unfamiliar with how this works, well, the tablet is a little different than phones. So I'm going to go to the home page. So this is what your home page will kind of look like. Mine is a little bit bigger because I'm on a tablet, of course. And so then you want to go bring it down. See, my wording goes away. When I bring it down, I go into plans. And then I can find all the plans that I am doing. Growing in love is going to be one of them. For February, a foundation of love will be another. Am I loved will be another one. Loving God, other six days. And it says others, six day devotional to foster faith filled friendships. And then this is what I want to start the daily Bible reading in February 2022. God's renewing word of love. Um, there's Charis Bible, Charis Bible, College Bible Reading Plan 2022 to 2023. These are ones that I wanted to do. Here's the one that I was talking about earlier where it says God's promises for the hungry heart. Nine. I don't know what that nine means. So it looks like that. But let's go into it. So nine by Drake Marani. So I don't get that. It's only a four day plan. Okay. So in here to get to this plans. Okay. We're doing the God's promises to you. And you see where it has the arrow? It'll take you back to your plan. It won't take you back to the day. So here, if you're on a tablet, you need to hit the arrow. Okay, so I got to wait for this to catch up. God's promises to you, Romans 6, is done. Wait, did I do the wrong? No, I better not have done this twice. Okay, so let me go to day 21. I'm so confused right now. God's promise to you, a four-day plan. Is it showing you differently here? No, it did Romans 6. Okay, so that is done. Okay, it should have connected to the tablet and like my phone, but I don't know why it's doing that. Day two is done, which is Romans 8 through 31. Oh no, today is day two. Oh my gosh. Today's the 22nd. Okay, so. One is done, Romans 6. I didn't click off of Romans on my phone. So we're on day two. Okay. So once you click off of here, it says something about purpose. Okay. I will give you purpose. Okay, so let's click back here. This one says, um, it should say, I will save you. Why is this not doing it? There you go. I will save you. I didn't click on it. It confused me. Okay. So this one has Romans 8, 131. It's a reading plan. I write it out, whatever sticks out to me. Here's the devotional. So let's start off with, so I don't get confused. All I do is go January 22, 2023. So this one here is done, which is day 21. If you remember, I said I was going to write out the scriptures and I didn't know if I was going to write them all out. So I did all the way up to eight. I liked to 10, 11, 14, which you cannot see right now. I'm going to take the light away. It probably will get dark. But I'm kind of like... Bring it closer. Okay. Might have to do it a little different. Because of my tablet, it's showing the light here. Let's see if I lift it. There you go. Now bring it closer. There you go. So you're seeing the head, the lights on the ceiling. There's nothing I can do about that. So, 
here was a challenge I was showing in the scripture video. Here is I will save you. And then I do things in purple, which let me see where it's at. Oh, it's right here. It doesn't look this color. And then there's like pray, thanking God. A challenge. Do you know someone who needs to experience a new life with Jesus? I know a lot of people that do. And then invite them to church and share how Jesus has changed you. And then Romans 6, dead to sin, alive in Christ. And so I just wrote what stood out to me. I think I'm still doing 23, if I'm not mistaken. But we're going to jump into... Did I do purple on the first page? I like to be a little bit consistent. Yeah. So the first, it says, I will free you. Can you see that? Okay. I'm trying to take the other light away. Is my charger not charging? It's showing like a battery light. I don't know why. It's my camera. Maybe a flashlight. Who knows? Okay. So it's probably the best. Once we, like, scroll, it should be easier to see. Okay. So it says, I will free you. So, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. I don't even remember if I said that. So, I will... Let me just double check. Yes. Okay. Had a lot of things going on right now. I will free you. Okay. So then I'm going to switch up pens because I don't like the one I'm using. Which is... Oh, no, I'm going to use this one. It's not thick, but it's still pretty good. Which is... The Art Alternatives. I'm trying to like tilt it so you can see it. Fine liner. That's the nib. It shows. There you go. It had a takeaway from there. Okay, so it says, why wait? Why does, why wait? Why does, God, my writing is going to get sloppy, make us wait. Okay, so have you ever asked that question. So I'm going to put that because I, I have, I've always asked that question. Ever asked that question? Okay. God is all powerful and that is true and that's what I want to put. It's going to look big because this is a, like a thick kind of tip. But I'm going to kind of write as small as I can. God is all. So I want this to stand out is why I'm doing this. So why doesn't he fix our circumstances so I don't just write everything I write what sticks out that's why I read it and from the pages it probably looks like oh she just writes what she sees no I write what stood out and remove our pain the moment we are saved. So these are like more like questions. So usually I'll put like one, two. And remove our pain. I'm going to bring it up closer so you can actually see this. 
so it's gonna get shaky because I'm writing as I am with this everything around me our pain the moment we are saved and I do that multiple times like I will read back just to make sure I'm in the right spot the Bible answers those questions in a few places that's a key right so the Bible I don't know why I gave that big space. Answers those questions in a few places. For example, Peter tells God is gracious and kind, wanting. Let me stop pointing. Peter tells I'm down here. Peter tells us God is gracious and kind, wanting as many people as possible to know him. Okay, so let's write that. Let me use this pen. I'm not gonna use it as an example. I'm just gonna put one. Peter tells us. I think I'm just going to use this one. It's just a regular ballpoint. Okay, but there's also, oh, you can't do it from there, but there's also work God wants to do in us while we're waiting. When we ask Jesus into our lives, our spirit is made perfect. Okay, so I'm not going to put but, I'm just going to put there is also work. So it looks like I am writing right now everything, but it's standing out to me. God also works God. Also work God. That doesn't sound right. There's also work God wants. Okay. It didn't sound right the way I was saying it. In us. While we're waiting. When we ask Jesus into our lives, our spirit is made perfect, but our body and soul, what we do and what we are, th what we think and feel are still far from perfect. Okay, so I'm going to write that here to be its own little thing that's going to stand out. What I'm going to do here is put an arrow. Okay, so let me bring it a little bit more up. I'm trying to get it so you can still see it. But without trying to move the tablet every few seconds. Okay, so Jesus into our lives. Our spirit. There's that but, though. You know, our spirit is made perfect, but our soul, our body and soul, I'll put that there, what we do, and what we 
we think and feel are still far from perfect. Okay, we come into God's family full of sin, full of hurt, and full of baggage. So from the moment we are saved to the day Jesus returns, God teaches us the values of this new family we've adapt we we've been adapted into. He doesn't do this by giving us giving a list of rules to follow, but by giving us the Holy Spirit as a guide. So what I'm gonna write is God teaches us us the value us the value and i under i capitalize the values only because i want that to stand out of this new family okay one more push up into okay so on the next page i'll put he doesn't do this by giving us a list of rules okay so we're on the next one But by giving us the Holy Spirit as a guide. Now, who would not want to write that? Because that sticks out to me. He's not like our parents. This is the rules of the house and, you know, whatever. He's given us the Holy Spirit to guide us. And it's up to us to do the right thing. Okay. I gotta stop pointing. It's my finger making it do that. As we listen. As we listen to the Holy Spirit and follow his lead, new desires displace your old ones. We're not even close to the bottom, I don't think. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm writing, trying to look at the tablet. And... So when it hits a certain time, I'm going to have to stop the video and then come back to the video. Because for some reason this camera is not allowing me to pause the video. I mean, I pause. It, it's going to have to happen. It goes by timing on your the camera. So freeing us from the old way of doing things is a lifelong process that requires participation. Since we have that in here, I'm going to put this. I think my mind writes faster than my hands. Because I'm like ready to write the next word and I'm not even there yet.
I'm like, did I even spell that correctly? Okay, so the next one is, it's going to blink out. We have to be willing to admit we have issues. We also have to let ourselves think differently. We might even have to change our influences surrounded ourselves with different people, programs, and pastimes. But as crazy as it might sound, true freedom comes from submission. So I am going to write just that in purple. From submission. So you see what I did there? Okay, let me bring it up just a little bit because the light is hitting the words. Okay, so we spent our lives before Jesus chasing what feels good and doing what we thought was right. And in the end, we were never fulfilled. Each time we follow the Holy Spirit, we become a little more like Jesus. So I'm going to start writing that part. We are almost to the end now. So I'm going to be stopping the video in a second. The, and it has nothing to do with anything. It's just the camera and the timing. We become a little bit more like Jesus. And a little less like who we used to be. I've noticed that with myself. Um, I used to swear a lot. And I, I catch myself, you know, trying not to. Confidence that we are God's children places the knowledge that... We are God's children, and that's where the real adventure begins. So having confidence that you are God's child replaces the knowledge that we are God's children. Okay, and then pray. And this is where we're going to stop and then come back. So I write the word pray, and then I will be back. Okay, so I had to read do something i don't know what it's doing but it was probably the internet catching up with the camera and phone okay so i'm gonna go back into the plans i'm gonna look for the one that we were doing which is right here god's promises to you for a four-day reading plan we're looking for i think it's i will give you purpose should be day three or day two day two months already okay I will free you. Day two. So we were on the prayer part. Okay, so let me see if I could do it kind of like this way, maybe. That way you see both. And then the light's just up here. Okay, so the prayer is, God, thank you for dying to save me and sending the Holy Spirit to guide me. Free me from my old way of thinking and my baggage. And any baggage I'm still carrying around. Show me where I need to think differently and follow your lead. So I already wrote this when we were in the video. So let me go ahead and do I put it underneath? I like to be consistent, so that's why I double check my uh, what I do. And yeah, I make a space so it's not on top of each other. That way it's, you know, you can clearly read it with my writing. Hopefully you can read it. And if I see something like this I don't like, I end up... Oh, let me put my watch on. I was filming this at like 5 o'clock while I was cooking my chicken. Yeah, and now it's 7.22. 
So it'll go up a little late, but it will be up today. As long as the internet works. Because sometimes I have a hard time. Oh, I was going to wipe this. So I love to keep white out next to me. But I've been running out, and I gotta put this on my list. Yeah, much better. And thank you for. So, um, I made. I don't know if you guys. Some will know. Some may not. Um, like mustard greens, collard greens, and then mixed greens. So, or mustard greens, collard greens, that was another one. I think it's mixed. And that's what we ate today with chicken. I'm going to edit the video, so I'm going to show you like a little plate of me just taking a picture of it. And just a little vegetable. Save me and sending... And I had a half of uh, a chicken breast, so it's like the breasts were pretty thick. So we cut them in half. We'll use the other half for soup tomorrow. And all I did was bake it and put my seasonings. Um, trying to eat better. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But I am trying. And I've been drinking gallons of water. So instead of seeing, like, this is a Dunkin' cup. Instead of always having coffee, I'm having water. But I only drink, like, one coffee a day. If I'm lucky, I'll drink. Well, not lucky, but if sometimes I will drink too. So guide me. Okay, so there's a period there. I was like, why is it, like, together? So that's what I've been doing. Making sure I'm not rewriting. And then the challenge would be next. Let's see, thing instead of think. And I don't like how this turned out. Not that this one turned out any better. It's because of where I think I have it. Let me bring it closer. Like I did before. I took the candle, um, because I had a candle on. So I took it off so that you could actually see this. Okay. I'm doing a video. Thinking and any baggage. I'm still carrying around. Show me. Move my hands. Where I need to think differently. Differently. And follow your lead. Okay, so now I'm going to write the challenge. And then you can do the challenge on your own when you're at home. I mean... Wherever it doesn't have to be at home. Okay. So it is right challenge. The pen is so thick that you can't see like the A's and the E's. The little opening. Do you feel free or is it your life? Is your life ruled by rules? That's a question. So I'm going to write it as the question. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? So it stands out.
ruled by rules. Okay. What's one thing you've been doing that God never said you needed to do? And so we'll do question two. And I just put them together because you could either answer it on paper or you could just answer it to your, you know, like think about it and then, you know, you could either, like I said, put it on paper or just think about it in your head or talk about it with a friend, church member, whoever. Or if these questions are like something you want to answer in journal about, you could do another, like take another page, journal about it. I think if I do all the questions that I've been asked on the U version app, I think I could have like this whole book full of just questions. And then answering them. Like journaling about it. So you can do that. God never said you need it. That's a D right here. To do. Okay. So it says quit, quit it today. Then ask Jesus how you should spend that time instead. So that's not a question. It says... Quit it today. So quit it today. I'm going to put it down here. Then ask Jesus how you should spend that time. My answer to this right here, I N S T, yeah, okay. So my question to this is: It says, "Quit it today." Then ask Jesus how you should spend that time instead. My answer to that is in the book. So I have it on the screen to show you, but in the book, in the Word. In your devotionals, Bible studies, things like that. Doing scripture, writing scripture. And so that is it for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. So let's you know it's marked off. It should do it to the phone as well. And then I'm going to write on here, Romans. Sometimes I could get that A to open up. Eight, one through thirty-one, but that doesn't. That's my three. It doesn't mean you have to write all thirty-one. Okay, whatever stands out to you. But that's what the reading plan is. So I read it, but whatever stands out to me is what I'm gonna write. Sometimes I write it all. So let's go in here really quick and see it. So like here. Therefore, I don't know if you could see that. Okay, there we go. Therefore, there is n uh, no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So I'm going to show you just a few of them. Verse 1. I always do verse 1. So anytime I put a verse, I always skip a line. So it stands out. I don't like it like this. I like it when it stands out from each other. Even though it's the same paragraph or whatever. Now, no. I'm going to put this word on the bottom because it's longer. Condemnation for those who are in... Christ, and I hope it's okay that you have longer videos sometimes. So this one we must have wrote sometime. 
and then verse 2, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Definitely want that. So, that kind of, you didn't get to see that part. I'm trying to keep them both together. And then here. Now, I could go one step further and put verse 1, verse 2 in purple. But I just do the questions like that. But see how it, like, changes the way it looks? Then the one on the bottom where it's purple and then verses through Christ Jesus. So I'm not going to read all of this with you, but I just want to show you just a few so you get an idea of what exactly I do. And I will come in and I think Wednesdays and Sundays and do the devotionals with you. So, like, if you need ideas or if you have any ideas, we can both work together. And I do want to go live. I just, I don't know, things always seem to come up. And I've noticed in, like, do you feel free or is your life ruled by rules? With the government, yeah, we're ruled by rules. But, um, like, we are free. But we have to do, you know, like, what God asks us. Okay, so then I take that, I highlight it. So I'll see the colors. For what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh. God did by sending his own son and the likeliness of sinful flesh to be a sin offering. So these little things, I click on them. Let's see if it'll work. There you go. So here it says, the Greek is singular, some manuscripts, me. Manuscripts. And then here's another one about the flesh oh my gosh it's hard to open is it touching it okay there so this one or flesh or skin uh sin so flesh or sin that one's like hard to open i don't know why it's like not opening let me close this part okay now do it okay so i was touching the color and then this one is, it's context like this. The Greek word for flesh is sarx. It uh, refers to the sinful state of human beings, often presented as a power of, in opposition to the spirit. Also in verse 4, 13, 4 through 13. And I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.